What's up everybody and welcome to Sunny Side TV and today we're going to take a close look at Reventure on the Nintendo Switch and I fully admit to everyone when I first saw the screenshots in the Nintendo eShop and I took one glance at this a few weeks ago I said nah there's no way this game's for me. But boy, don't judge a book by its cover. But before I go any further, consider subbing to the channel for more game reviews and gameplay videos of games here on the Nintendo Switch. But without further ado, let's review Revenger on the Nintendo Switch. Now, Revenger is a pixel adventure game with 100 endings, and the game lets you go on and literally do anything and everything you want, and I'm going to explain that a little further here in a second. When you first boot up the game, you'll notice right away the king's in distress because the princess is being held captive by the Dark Lord in his massive fortress. From here, how you want to grab the princess is going to be up to you, and keep in mind, on your very first playthrough, you can rescue her if you can figure out how to do it. Now, the game doesn't feature unique endings tied to rescuing the princess, but more like endings that can see your character die or be injured or be put in jail for instance my absolute first playthrough i went to retrieve the legendary sword and while i received my shiny new sword i felt so eager to test it so i started swinging it around and i end up accidentally killing this poor man that was next to the sword well that was my first ending out of the 100 i was put in jail and i came back years later then years later i thought if i can kill anyone at any time it's time for me to go and murder the king and that's exactly what i did and that's going to be the gimmick here with revenger if you can imagine it in the game and the game has the availability to do it it's probably going to be an ending now there is some gameplay mechanics here like there's some light platforming there's some combat you can grab your sword and swing and do damage there's other items like a hook shot there's also a chicken you can use to help you fly a little easier. You can grab all sorts of items in the game that can aid you on rescuing the princess or just causing plain mayhem. The game features all sorts of ways to uncover those 100 endings and most are absolutely hilarious. The game features so many pop culture references and other game references like Celeste or Zelda and it's always consistently breaking the fourth wall. The game doesn't take itself serious and to me that's an absolute pop. Positive. Now there is some secret areas and even items littered throughout this world and it's just fun playing exploring and uncovering all the different endings and finding all the different secrets. But at some point you might want to start taking it serious and go after the princess. Well I don't want to ruin it with a ton of spoilers or endings more than I already have. This is really a fun adventure and finally rescuing her is going to be fun. But the beauty here is the game isn't over when you do. There is a final secret ending that I won't talk too much about other than to say that it exists and it's epic. But you do need to unlock 99 endings to see that final ending. So there is a little bit of a grind here. One negative that I do want to point out is that it can definitely get repetitive. The world doesn't change and actually the only thing that really changes is your avatar and your character from playthrough from to playthrough when you go through the glorified and brutal deaths you might come back as your brother or your brother-in-law or if you get through a ton of endings they end up adding a ton of years to your character you might end up coming back as an old man there is just a ton of fun here and honestly i just purely enjoyed this game to take note the game did run 100 percent well on the nintendo switch the music was wonderful the controls were tight and responsive my overall score for revenger on the nintendo switch which also takes value into account is going to be an 8 out of 10. obviously being a pixel game it's not the absolute prettiest game you have to like or at least be okay with the pixel visuals but don't let that hold you back on what is otherwise an absolute absolute blast and just flat out funny i honestly don't think anything has come close to making me laugh more than reventure this year or even the last couple years and that's definitely high praise in my opinion but all right folks that's gonna be it for me if you guys enjoyed this video please consider hitting that like button as it's so helpful consider subbing if you're brand new and check me out on twitch where i stream every friday but as always i want to thank you guys for watching and i hope you all have a sunny day